piece that I'm about to do is, uh, I wrote this when I was like uh, 14 years old. So, uh, bear with me. She staggered down the starlit streets of fear, bloody, beaten, and bruised. The stench of alcohol and date rape drugs perspired from her skin and friends saw her right to take one final breath. In a matter of minutes, she had been drugged, kidnapped, and fallen victim to sodomy. She was left in the streets for death with no real street lights ahead, for they would only give light to the memories chopped inside her head. And those memories began to sculpt her at the innocent age of six when brother witnessed what seemed to be an interesting way for mommy and daddy to express their love. But his 10-year-old bourbon shot brain could not retain the difference in mommy-daddy love and sibling affection. Therefore, he fed his erection with the tears of affliction he brought upon his sister of six years. Her tears did none but fuel the fears of her mentally challenged kin, the fear that his love was not yet proven behind closed doors. But it wasn't his fault. He didn't know the moans that came from his mother at night would have be kept in the vault, out of sight of the young mind vulnerable to innocent curiosity. Yet this curia, yet this costly reveal caused all fate to be sealed that dwelled in the silhouette of his young sister's life. Day after day, after day, after day, after day, for three years she endured the lures that led to Simon says hide and seek. And the bleak memories of which, being hidden in the closet of her dreams, were kept, swept, and stored under her shelf. No one, not even herself, possessed the key to Simon's secrets. His words were only heard in the echoes of her actions. And these actions, being driven by male satisfaction, led her to high heels where dark men find pleasure and drive through customers change like rewashed pleather. Was it a feeling of worthlessness that drove this young miss to place a price upon the very part of her that connects to the womb of her heart? Or was it the fists and kisses of sweet Daddy D that destroyed the pillars of her temple like a wrecking ball with each blow? It matters not, for so could a life have been different if someone had just listened to the cries from the closet. Now lies a harlot whose cries can only be heard by God in a desperate attempt to find fulfillment of her life's destiny. On this concrete pavement, this young woman bleeds the screams of Simon's secrets long locked in ties. This young woman received no lifeline. Feel just like a weight I've lifted. How can I repay? 